Brian Brick here, and today I'm going to be doing another Transformers mock review. And this time, I'm going to be doing it on my Transformers LEGO G1 Optimus Prime mini version, because I have a big version. And uh, so here he is in his truck mode with his nice trailer included. Made sure to get both of those, and let's get straight into it. So, uh, I really do like this version of Optimus, so uh, I really made sure that I had to get a big version and a small version. I uh, hopefully will do the big version soon. But uh, yeah, here's Optimus with this trailer, and uh, I think he looks really good, in my opinion. Uh, starting off with uh, some of the things I captured. Um, he's got the nice uh, windshield here, just done in a black tile. With a with the uh, the grill there, just a gray jumper plate, and uh, the red and blue, and well, that's pretty much it. Uh, but he can separate from the trailer, um, uh, and as you saw before, the trailer does pivot because uh, it's on a jumper plate. But uh, the trailer again can separate, just right there. So. Uh, setting this off to the side we'll get to this in a sec uh so here he is in just him form uh and again yeah i really really like the uh the final product of this not not much else to say uh let's get into comparisons uh for this i'm gonna put on the trailer again um, because the first person I'm bringing in is my Lego Ultra Magnus. Uh, if you want to make fun of him, go ahead. Don't really care. I know you probably want to, so. Which, uh, he also will hopefully be in a video soon. So, uh, have a lot of Lego things coming in the future. But yeah, they, uh, they both have the, uh, nice trailer. And, uh, the cabs, but, uh. Obviously, Ultra Magnus' cab is a lot smaller and his trailer's bigger because he comes out of the trailer, not the cab. So, yeah, they look pretty cool together. Um, now, Optimus is without Optimus' trailer and without Ultra Magnus' trailer. This is what they look like. Um, yep, go, go ahead. Go, uh, go make fun of Ultra Magnus. It's fine. I don't really care. <sighs> I mean, I, I make fun of him myself, but... Yeah, there you go. Uh, bringing in our next comparison. I have him next to another Lego, uh, figure that I will hopefully be reviewing in the future. He is the miniature version of the TLK Megatron. So yeah, he looks pretty cool. Next to him, obviously not realism because Optimus is not supposed to be the flat cab in TLK. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, I'm just going to get to the trailer and then we'll go to transformation. Now the trailer, I really am very happy with this trailer. You can see a bunch of stuff going on up here. Uh, trailer hitch is nice. This is meant to represent wheels of some sort. Yeah, and it even has, like, the, uh, the panels and, and whatnot, uh, but yeah, really do like this, uh, and, uh, obviously with this piece right here, it can open up, and in there, just digging him out, in there, I included a little roller, uh, not very little, I mean, here he's next to Optimus, I guess he would scale well, uh, but you can make, like, a, a mini bumblebee or something, shove them in there. I don't know. They would have to be the size, or half of the size, like, the one by one, but... Because there's not a lot of room in there. But, uh, yeah, he looks... I think he looks, uh, nice next to Optimus. Uh, this, uh, great piece here is supposed to represent the, uh, the wheels, the six wheels, and then just the top, and seats or something I, I don't know uh but yeah he he does nicely fit in there uh and it closes up so that's pretty cool 
Um, something else with the trailer, though, because of the way I built these pieces here, it can actually hinge open. Now, the original hinged open like this, whereas mine folds open like this, but, I mean, I still think it's really good. And, uh, I mean, you can put this back down if you want. Or another thing to make it kind of symmetrical, you can just put that, I mean, it's not completely in the middle, but it's uh, a little bit more symmetrical. But this is just like a little base or something. Um, I'll get to this in a little bit. Wait, you can just fold that down. I uh, can't really, I mean, I guess you can sort of put Optimus on there if you wanted kind of put Optimus on there. Oops. He's kind of bending. Um. But, I mean, it doesn't, it doesn't really, it, it sort of works. And it also makes the trailer balance because, uh, without it, it just falls forward. And that's another use for roller if you put him right there. Um, so that's really cool. And also, you can put roller there. And that's where roller sits when the trailer's closed, just that little gap right there and uh come on, there we go and uh, i mean you can like stand it up kind of like how it uh the feature is but uh again not not really not really so anyway let's get to uh transformation optimus he has a pretty simple transformation and uh uh I didn't include a gun because the gun is actually part of the transformation, although the only downside to that is that it's not the right color for his gun. Uh, you'll see that in a sec. So uh, to start off, you just pull these arms out, which will reveal the head. So you just flip that up and then take this back part, flip this down, fl oh, flip them around, and then, oh, hang on, you can just bend this slightly because there's a stud right there and then you can bend that up so it can be a little bit more flush but then here is where his gun comes in so you flip this around flip this up and that's supposed to be his gun like a gray gun but I mean again it's not the right color uh, it does work though I mean I like it because there was no other way I could achieve his transformation that looked this good in both modes, um, ex unless I did that. So, I mean, you can, of course, just take that off, but, I mean, that's parts forming, and I know a lot of people, including me, hate parts forming. I mean, I don't hate parts forming. Uh, I'm working on a uh, movie version of Optimus that has parts forming because movie version of Optimus, if you ever try to make him, he's a nightmare to make. But, yeah, I mean, this is what I usually just do with the uh, gun if I don't want it. And, uh, yeah, he looks really good. I really, really like this uh, robot mode. Uh, sadly, he can't have his uh, windows right here. I mean, you could put this as a black uh, one by 2 but... Then in uh, truck mode, he'll just have this awkward, like, uh, or weird black stripe on the back of his cab. So, I didn't put it on there. Uh, but, yeah. Looks super good. Um, he kind of does look like he has, like, a turtleneck sweater on, but with the tiny head. But, I I don't know why. I just look past it. And he looks really good to me. Um, his silhouette is good, too. Minus this uh, piece obstructing there. But, you can also just pop that off if you want. Uh, but I don't. Uh, I'm also okay with this parts forming because uh, it's like a, a weapon. And weapons are supposed to come out their hands. So, yeah. Take Classics Optimus, for example. But anyway, enough with that. Yeah, I think he looks really, really good in this mode. And, uh, yeah, I guess nothing else to do except for show off the trailer. And, uh, just for the sake of this, I'm just gonna put roller under here. So it's not falling back all the time. 
So you can just put Optimus up there, which I I really do dig the look of. Um, and if you move this, if you move that back down, you can uh, take his gun, put it back in his hand, and uh, make this sort of like a base thing, and he's shooting off like pew 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 pew. Hides behind here, pew pew. Uh, but again, not much uh, you can do with this trailer. I just liked uh, including that it could fold open. Uh, I guess you could cord, cord. I guess you could sort of uh, get that out of here. simulate uh, him getting repaired or something like, like that's like that drone, which I actually did intend at uh, at the start. So I like pieces everywhere, just laying everywhere. Um, but putting that back in there. Come on. But everything does compact up uh, very nicely. So, yeah, it's really cool. Now, getting on to the, the comparisons. I'll keep that in a second. First, we will start off with... He wants that now. Ultra Magnus. So here he is, and I think they look really good together. Um, obviously, Ultra Magnus was a very tall uh, bot, but so was Optimus. And I mean, I haven't looked at the comparison between Ult G1 Ultra Magnus and G1 Optimus for quite some time, so I don't exactly know if this scale is right, uh, but actually, I think definitely not because i think optimus is taller than him by like a hair uh but there they are together and i don't think they look bad i actually like the uh look of these two and again he should be coming out soon so stay tuned for that and here he is next to the tlk megatron so here he is next to him and obviously i don't know the scale sorry if you hear a uh, noise in the background uh but what I do know is that he is way, 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 way taller than him. He would be, like, right there. Honestly. No, he'd probably be like that. So, uh, yeah. I mean, again, hopefully his video comes out soon. But, uh, yeah. Nothing, nothing much to say right here, but get out of here. Um, so, I guess that's pretty much it for this review um i hope you guys enjoyed uh if you did leave a like uh comment subscribe and uh hit that bell for notifications and uh yeah i'll see you guys next time peace out